I've got fuel, so I, I'm good to go. Thanks, Rick. The new racing order is now posted on the board in front of the building. The new racing order is now posted. For this next class, I, I need about six more pounds. <laughs> I pushed him on the breaking point. Was he surprised? Uh, I don't think so. No, I actually, bro, well, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was he's a tough guy to pass by, you know, so he was cool. But it's just, it's the first heat, it's not the final, right? So, so it's cool. race car drivers get into before they make it to the big cars uh, all Formula One drivers have been part of karting and there's two there's a couple of different types of carts this one here is uh, called a tag cart it's a um, touch-and-go cart it's automatic and then there's another one over there and it's a shifter cart it's got six gears and uh, this one can go up to about 80 miles an hour and the other one can go over a hundred miles an hour you're using a special gasoline yeah it's uh, actually a jet fuel and it's uh, mixed with oil. So it's getting uh, pretty expensive to race? Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite an expensive sport, but it's a ton of fun. A gas tank can fit about up to nine liters per tank, and that will last maybe half an hour per tank. In a shifter car, you can get up to over, over five Gs, almost like a Formula One car. It's pretty tough on your ribs? Yeah, it can, it can give the toll on your ribs. It's a, it's a very first physical sport, as it doesn't look like it though.
off, you won the first race, you won the second race, and you were leading on the third one until the last round. What happened? I got the, the guy from Victoria that decided to play a NASCAR passing, it's called NASCAR passing. So pretty much he just pushed the, uh, the butt of the, the car on the front of you and after you just remove it out of the track and suddenly you're just leading the race, that's it. Yeah, I, I had uh, about uh, six corners and I would have won the race.